Hey guys, let's talk about Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid. They landed in London, a uh, 49-year-old actor and his 28-year-old girlfriend. Uh, after Bradley was snapped one more time for Best Director Oscar Award, uh, he got a nomination for uh, Best Actor but didn't get it for Best Director, which is weird because uh, it was critically acclaimed movie ma maestro even though some of my friends said it's good some of my friends said it's not good so they have they have like polarized opinions but overall uh, when you read the critics and read different reviews all over the internet you can say honestly that's a good movie even though i'm not a fan of biopics uh, like that that's not my type of biopic that i would watch because like when i watch ray about ray charles at least I listened to Ray, at least I knew his songs. Uh, the composer, the composer that Bradley just played, I don't know who the guy is, so for me to watch it, it's kind of weird. Uh, but maybe I will, uh, I can't promise you anything, but maybe I will watch it. So they landed in London and, uh, I mean, there's not a rumor anymore that they actually dating despite their age difference, uh, which draw a lot of criticism from different media outlets, from different fans. Because Gigi was uh, with Zayn Malik for a while and they have a kid together, so it's a completely different transition for her. Maybe she just got tired of this young boys. Uh, <laughs> and she decided to try someone who's more serious, who's been through everything, who lived life. But Bradley is like um, uh, turning into Leo DiCaprio's shoes. Uh, Leo DiCaprio is famous not only for his great work in acting, but also for his super young girlfriends. Leo is 49 years old as well, and he's surrounding himself with young girls. And Bradley decided, why not? Maybe Gigi Hadid is not the 22-year-old, <laughs> but she's still super young. Uh, that's why this relationship were sparking huge debates in my opinion there's nothing wrong with them actually dating each other it's like it's not against somebody's will right she wants to date him he wants to date her what's wrong with that and a lot of sayings when you say love love can come and go it's a free-flowing energy so it can come and go at any moment it pleases so maybe that was the moment so for me when i hear this type of stuff when like People say, oh, it's too old, he's too old, or it's such a big age difference, I don't mind that. I mean, that's their choice at the end of the day. Gigi and Bradley sparked up a romance in October after they were reportedly introduced by Bradley's ex, Irina Shaikh. Last month, it emerged Bradley has purchased a home near his girlfriend's family horse farm in Pennsylvania. A source told the Page Six outlet that Bradley, who is a Pennsylvania native, recently bought a house in Bucks County. I mean. I don't understand why people do that in the early stage of their relationship, right? They just started dating like October. It wasn't a long time ago. October was just around the corner a few months ago, basically three months, and you already purchased a house close to your girlfriend. I understand love is love and you can love a person like that, but like don't rush things. I don't like rushing things. And maybe it's just a 49 year old uh, talks to Bradley. <laughs> you don't have much time and on the third. And you kind of like, uh, you know, <laughs> need to rush a little bit. For Bradley, it's a second attempt to get an Oscar for Best Director after 2018 movie A Star Is Born. Uh, but he snapped once again. What shocked uh, in this Oscar nominations that Leo DiCaprio didn't get one. One of the favorites of critics of American Academy. He didn't get an award as well. Let's discuss. What do you think about Bradley and Gigi relationship? What do I think about Bradley gets snubbed for another Best Director nomination? Uh, leave me a thoughts in the comment section, also like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye.